Hey everyone, it's the Unlikely Prepper here, and you may not know this, but uh, I actually do a lot of loom knitting because my mother is a very good knitter and crocheter, and I'm not very good with the tension on it, so I, te I tend to just stick with looms. And up until now, I have just used regular, the Nifty Knitter, pre-made plastic ones, but I found... I was having issues with finding a good size to do toddler hats. Uh, this size here does newborn, but not really anything over the age of maybe three or four months tops. They all become a little bit too tight after that. And the neck size up really does kids that are almost at almost like about four years old. So I was having issues with that, as well as I wanted something that would give me the ability to do... Uh, cowls and bigger pieces that I, I currently can't do with these kind here. So after three months I finally saved up and got the perfect moment and I got this Martha Stewart knit and weave loom kit and it is actually just interchangeable pieces as you can see by the picture. There's 30 plus configurations that come and you go ahead and plug together the pieces that you want and create your own custom loom for whatever kind of uh, projects that you're going with and you can also go ahead and do weaving with it as well. So I got really lucky this weekend at Joann's. They happened to have a 60% off coupon and thus far for the past three months every time I have had a coupon for it uh, they've also had looms on sale, which means you can't use the coupons for them. So, all the ones that I had had before were 50% off, and this time I happened to get a 60% off, and they weren't on sale. So I managed to get this bad boy, who is usually $44.99. I got it for 18 bucks, And I wanted to kind of do a mini review. I've already made something with it. Ta-da! So... This is, the, this is the packaging on the outside of it. Kind of gives you a, a little book on the inside that looks similar. I'll open that up after. It's only got four projects in it, but it also explains how to assemble the looms and such. So, it comes with a little plastic case. And then this is the piece that goes on top here. Inside, you've got four of these pieces here, which I believe are 12 peg. Pieces. Four of those comes with four of the uh, these ones here. The four of those it comes with two super long ones that are really really long. So if we can get that all in there. It also comes with the two semicircles which I've already worked with. Those two are connected together by that little joint bracket there. And then it comes with these pieces here, which you can, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with one hand. Let me see if I can put this together. Oh, and I'm making loud noises. I apologize if you had your volume turned up. Let me, let me get this together for you. So if you're into doing the little, like, weaving flowers, you can go ahead and interchange them, or you can go ahead and pull these apart and then do longer pieces in between as you want. And, sorry, I know you're all confused by this. I'm making the image all weird. This one here is the weaving tool. Go ahead and you weave this in between the layers, like you see in there. You weave them in between the layers and then pull through. It came with two types of needles, a longer and a smaller. It came with a crochet hook, and I believe this is size K. Size K? Yes, size K. And then it also comes with these two pieces here, which can go ahead and do a uh, different size of the flat looms, which I'll kind of show you what I mean by that after. So those are all the different pieces, and there are a bunch of configurations you can do with it, because you can go ahead and 
take these pieces apart and attach on the long ones and make an oval out of it and do big huge cowls on it or even go ahead and do blankets on it. So this here, this book comes and it kind of explains single like in single knitting, double knitting, weaving. It gives you all those and then it gives you a couple different projects. I believe it's a blanket, a scarf, and uh, how to weave. Let's see. There's one other project. Hat, scarf, baby blanket, and I think it's those little rosettes. And here are the pegs. I've already put them in a little plastic bag. They have the pink and the blue, which are actually the two different sizes. And then they have green, which is the same size as the pink, but they give you the different colors so you can alternate. So if you're doing like a knit pearl, knit pearl, you can denote which one is which. And then they have these little gray ones as well, and the gray ones can be used as markers for these, and they can also just be used as markers and, and to hold these pieces in as you go. Now these here, when you want to lock them in place, you go ahead and put a peg in. Sorry, getting unfocused here. You go ahead and put these, these two pieces together. You see how there's a hole? right in there. You put them together and then when you put a peg in this this hole here it will go ahead and lock it in place. So they do fit very snugly. I like that. I will say I do have issues with the pegs. They're not bad, don't get me wrong, but I have found on quite a few of them that I've had to snip pieces here and there and I've also found this is the edge that faces out. This is the edge that you go ahead and do pulling from. And you're not going to be able to see it. Well, you might be able to see it. They've got these little rough edges. And it tends to tear at the yarn. So they could have done a better job with making sure that that piece was flush. I haven't been having the same issues that everybody says with um, getting the pegs to stay in. They stayed in nice and snugly for me. I've got... This one here that I did, and I've also got a lot of people who were saying that they hated that it wasn't, the pieces were coming out kind of, they look like crooked teeth when you put them in, and I got them, they're pretty straight for me. So I don't know if uh, other people were getting bad batches, or I just got a really fantastic batch, or I put them in differently, but they all fit in pretty, pretty good for me, and uh... I had good luck with it, and I was able to make this hat with it. Just a basic little hat, nothing too fancy. It's for a, a newborn who <laughs> just happens to have a really big head. So, and I'm going to go ahead and put a green pom pom at the top, and it'll be a little pumpkin hat for him. It's for uh, some pictures he's having done. They want him to have a little pumpkin head. So, my other things that I I have to say are a little different. Now, let me show you what a... put this here so you can kind of see a little bit better. This is what a normal loom hook looks like. Now, as you can see here, it's bent, but it's sharp at the tip. It is a point. Their version is more of a L shape, and it is blunt on the tip. I found I had a little bit of issue with that. I, but I have to say, though, this handle is super soft, great grip. I love how it feels in my hand. It doesn't hurt at all. But the tip does bother me. I mean, I I can use it either way. It doesn't bother me all that much. And as far as the smell goes, a lot of people are saying that they didn't like the, the smell of this. I've worked with this kind of plastic um, silicone base before, and the scent doesn't bother me at all. So... Either way, I mean, I can work with either of them. I'm, I'm more used to this feel, but I love how soft this handle is. So I will, I will get a custom and I will do more. I will show you more projects as I do them. But I just wanted to give you an idea of this new product. And I think that learning how to be able to create clothes in a, in a proper situation is important. 
and here in Massachusetts we get pretty cold, cold winters, so being able to make warm clothes is always important. So I've got a lot of other things that I plan to do. This, this hat is just the first of many. I'm actually going to go ahead and do a really long piece, and I'm going to make out a big long piece, sew it together, and it'll be sort of like a sleeve that I can put my arms into just to keep warm during the winter. I've been trying to cut down on our heating costs, so I've been leaving the temperature fairly chilly in the house, and I figure if I just cover up a little bit more, I'll be fine. So, that's what I plan on doing for the winter, but I will show you another project that I am currently working on. This is a scarf, and this is what I mean by a flat loom. You go ahead and zigzag them across the two pegs, like such. Nope, sorry. And you zigzag them all the way through, and then flip them over. And you put one over the other, and it comes out. And this is actually a really, really thick scarf that I'm doing. I'm really excited about this one. I'm about. Yeah, Probably about 65% done on it. I'm over the two foot mark. I'm going to at least get to four feet. might be a short scarf, but it's super, super thick. So I hope to do something like this, except probably about three or four times as wide as this. So I can sew these two end pieces together, and it'll actually make like a big... It'll be a big piece that I can put my arms into. I'll show you when it's done, so you can kind of get a idea what I'm talking about. But I would say, if you, obviously men are, are not going to be as interested in doing this kind of stuff, but if you or your spouse or one of your children doesn't know anything about knitting or crocheting, I would say it would be behoo of you to learn how to because you will start needing these kinds of things and hopefully you'll have access to uh, sheep, llamas, uh, alpaca, anything where you can get stuff to work with. I actually would really love to learn how to do textile weaving because at some point we might have to start making our own cloth. So I just wanted to show you, I'll probably do another video where I show what I've made in the past. So just wanted to give a review. I know a lot of people uh, within the looming community have been looking for reviews on this uh, system and how it works for them. So I'd say aside from the weird angle on this and these little jagged pegs, I really like it. A lot of people kind of, they, they didn't like issues with getting the pegs in. I didn't find them that hard to put in and I found them to be pretty even. So maybe I just got a real good one. And I'm actually thinking of going back, uh, the sale lasts until tomorrow. Joanne, so I'm thinking for 18 bucks I might go back and try to get a second one, provided I do well at the farmer's market tomorrow. Cross your fingers for me, and uh, might pick up a second one so I have double the amount of pegs, and I can make even more configurations because I have double the pieces. Alright, so Unlikely Prepper out. Thanks for watching.